Look up there, it's a bird, it's a plane. Nope, it's just one of Kim Jong-un's missiles. Well, we kid, it does raise the very real topic of North Korea and that nation's rapid development of its ballistic missile and nuclear programs. Numerous tests have people on edge and every event leaves wondering just what is going on with Kim and his missiles. How far can these missiles fly? What makes them so special? Namely, what is actually inside one of those North Korean missiles that Kim Jong-un loves so much? Hola, did you hear about our latest addition to our family? The richest Espanol is the perfect place for all you native Spanish speakers out there. Don't speak Spanish? No problem. Come on over, this is the perfect place to practice. Amazing facts, interesting people, and funny pictures. Our subscribe button kind of looks like a missile launch button, so press it and activate those notifications before we continue. To start with, we need to know exactly what sort of missile is causing all the commotion. Rocket technology has been around for centuries, yet it wasn't until the 20th century that countries were able to produce missiles which could travel great distances and guide themselves with any amount of accuracy. After World War II, the Soviet Union and the United States developed a range of missiles which could be equipped with nuclear warheads. The biggest of these was the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, which could travel at least 3,400 miles and strike pretty much anywhere on the planet. This is where Kim Jong-un comes into play, as it's the ICBM that interests him. North Korea's leader is so desperate to develop a reliable ICBM for two reasons. First, Kim views a nuclear ICBM as a safety device to ensure his regime's survival. Second, such missiles make for effective tools when negotiating with other countries, such as the United States. As a result, Kim has surged ahead to develop a reliable long-range ICBM that can travel to the mainland United States. To do this, he's had to put all sorts of technology inside those missiles to make them work. So let's say you have oodles of money and you'd like to build yourself your very own Kim Jong-un style missile. What do you need? Well, we're going to have to take one of these bad boys apart to understand what makes it tick. We'll just assume you have all the proper government clearances and licenses to go ahead and build a missile. First and foremost, any good ICBM needs some good engines. After all, if you don't have engines to push that missile into space, then what's the point? Kim Jong-un knows this and has sourced his engines mainly from the old Soviet regime and copied many of the features to use in his own missile, the Hwasong-14. These engines use liquid fuel which is stored in tanks inside the body of the missile. In fact, the Hwasong-14 uses more than one set of engines, which is actually common for ICBMs. This is necessary to propel the missile the great distances required. Obviously, we all know about the primary engine, or first phase, which is responsible for boosting the missile all the way out of our atmosphere. After that, the first engine falls away, revealing a second engine known as the second phase. This fires and propels the missile on its merry way. Now combined, these two engines give Kim's Hwasong-14 theoretically enough range to travel as far as the U.S. mainland. Of course, he could always add a third phase or an additional engine to make the missile even longer range. But for now, we'll stick with two. The next thing you need to have inside your very own Hwasong-14 is some sort of guidance system. This is required to keep the missile on course and let it hit with some accuracy thousands of miles away. After all, it's one thing to fire off your missile, but an entirely different issue to have it land where you want it. Every ballistic missile, like the German V-2, uses gyroscopes to simply keep the missile level and on course. Later on, computers were added, which could be programmed with the coordinates of the target and utilize all sorts of sensors to help keep things on track. Some missiles even had camera lenses that looked at the stars and adjusted course based on the constellations. This is where experts aren't really sure because we haven't had a chance to examine the guidance system in Kim's missiles yet. Yet, we're pretty certain there is at least a basic computer in there that can help maintain stability. Whether it lands within feet or miles of a target is a whole other question. Finally, we get to the whole point of the ICBM and what has everyone worried about when it comes to Kim Jong-un's missiles. We know that inside the Hwasong-14 are two engines and a guidance system. Yet what really interests everyone is the warhead. Regardless of how far along Kim's nuclear program is, we know that the purpose of this ICBM is to carry a nuclear warhead. Images have shown Kim standing beside what appears to be a thermonuclear warhead, which is the most powerful type of nuclear weapon humans have created. This strange looking device sits near the top of the ICBM, protected behind some sort of heat shield. 
Together, all of this is known as the re-entry vehicle, which is meant to ensure the warhead can get back down through the atmosphere and survive the bumping and extreme heat. This is actually one of the hardest aspects of the ICBM to master, and experts aren't totally sure if the Hwasong-14 has this ability yet. So just what's inside Kim Jong-un's missile? In a perfect world, it would be filled with candy. In a funny world, it would be filled with Kim's number one love, cheese. However, the answer is not as fun. Kim's favorite missile, the Hwasong-14, contains two sets of engines, fuel tanks, a guidance system, and a nuclear warhead inside a re-entry vehicle. In many ways, the technology used to build this missile dates back to the 1950s and 60s, so it isn't anything new or revolutionary. That said, the next time you see one of these launch, you'll know that they aren't really anything to make fun of. Unless, of course, it fails, well, and then we can all point and laugh. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Richest Launch Control Room. We hope you learned something new. Speaking of new, we've always got new videos coming out covering everything from celebs and food to, yes, even more Kim Jong-un. And before you go, don't forget to check out all the new and exciting content over at the Richest Espanol. Adios!